I wanted to take a look at statistically and for other reasons, why were Collingwood the best AFL club in 2023? How did they win the flag? Let's look at the stats that bode in their favor. I have a range of different little graphics here. The first we're gonna go through is their experience. In terms of experience games, on average, they had the second most with 126.1. Now the AFL average was 100.7. We see a lot of the good teams, the Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney's, Collingwood's up there. Geelong, Richmond, Dogs, that's a concern, especially for my team, Richmond, fucking hell, how do we have that many games experience? Well, Trent and Jack are retired now. But Geelong are effectively quite at the top. Like, they are quite head and shoulders above other, others in the competition. If you're in Adelaide, you are loving this stat right now of your Adelaide because 84 game experience is something that is really good alongside Carlton's 90, GWS 93. Now that's the reason they did do a lot better, especially in the finals when you want that experience, the finals experience. That is a good reason, I guess, as to why Collingwood did so well. Next up, contested possessions. Quite simply, contested possessions are such an important stat. It controls people's game style, teams' game styles, territory control, of the field contested possession is everything absolutely everything you might be thinking oh is it everything because you know where's Collingwood at the top you know we've got the likes of Melbourne Adelaide Carlton GWS all really good teams Sydney's in there Collingwood are so low down they are they have 132.4 on average which is four below the AFL average they are just point four away from Fremantle, 0.6 away, or seven away, sorry, from Hawthorne, which is a glaring statistic. And it's something that Collingwood fans should actually like because the fact they aren't good in this stat, if they are to improve on that stat in 2024, they could go a step further, which is scary. But it is something to note that you don't always need to be good in contested possessions, but it's one of those stats that 99% of, okay, the top four teams every year, most of them are great at contested possessions. 99% of the time, but this is just a weird outlier. Next up, we have got ground ball gets all the way in this corner over here. Quite simply, ground ball gets, the reason I am highlighting this is Collingwood also do terribly in ground ball gets, which is funny because they do have good small forwards. Bobby Hill, you know, they did have Jack Ginevan, uh, even the likes of Elliot. So Collingwood are really struggling in ground ball gets as well. And that's not so much an important stat, but it's more so telling you their game style. They're not so focused about the small forwards picking it up. Next up, we've got marks inside 50. Collingwood are quite high in the set. Now, with all these stats here, shout out to Wheelo. Absolute great, great little website for the 2023 stats. Collingwood were never really the top of any of them. They were always middle of the pack, lower or a bit higher, but never top and never like dead last. 